Hello and welcome to the Freya system. Oh, wow. We have magically lost most of our transitions, um, transition FMVs. Uh, so that should make moving around the ship a lot quicker. Let's um, see what Mr. Rollins here has to say in the elevator. <laughs> so we risk everything to get this one egghead they say might win the war? Although I'll believe that when I see it. And Vagabond decks a guy? <laughs> I bet old Vagabond doesn't get out of the brig till the Karathi let him out. <laughs> well, Vagabond had his reasons. Yeah. Vagabond went. Actually, I'll, well, I think I'll try something reasons. new here. Uh, normally, I would respond with this top one here that Vagabond. I did have reasons to do this, which you can argue. I mean, um, yeah, he has history with this little mad scientist, but he did went way too far. go too far. Now, you will recall that uh, I did not punch uh, Paladin in the face, so um, I have moral authority to do to say this <laughs> okay here we go well, he deserved it you can't just go flying up the handle like that um okay i <clears throat> i don't think that was the ideal response uh, see uh, uh Depending on how you uh, handle this um, situation with Vagabond, you may get him back as a wingman sooner or later. Luckily, uh, Rollins here is not the um, deciding factor, so I don't think I screwed that up yet. Oh, hey! You! Tell you about trust in a cat. Hey, too bad Cobra had to die to get a point across. You're asking for it, man. Okay. Two bad options here. Um. I don't need this. Uh, if we go with this You're one. Asking <clears throat> for it. Uh, I think we'll make some threats involving turrets, which only makes sense if we are if we are if we are actually flying craft that have turrets, the uh, thunderbolt and the longbow. Uh, only we will not be flying those <laughs> uh, those uh, craft much more in the entire game, so uh, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. This, this, however, is more akin to what I am feeling personally, my own self, so I will pick this one. I don't know what that did for ship morale, but no threats were made. Oh, right, now I see that Hobbs is removed. <clears throat> No, oh, we still get this transition. But yeah, uh, the uh, last couple of missions, uh, there are gonna be plenty of FMVs there. So maybe they simply um, stripped these uh, transitions out of the uh, data packs. Uh, could very well be the case. At least the music doesn't take much space, being all MIDI and stuff. Let's get started, Colonel. Yes, sir. HQ sent us here to Freya because they've located a jump point that leads straight to Kira. 
A nice little back door we can use later when Dr. Severin completes his device. One slight problem, however, is that the Kirathi own this system. We have to clean them out. Go to it, Colonel. Hmm. Yeah, that's gonna be easy. So, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Yeah. Vagamoth went flying. Hobbs is with his compatriots. Cobras. Dead as a doorknob. Actually, Maniac. Let's you and I go for a round. Maniac, you're gonna be my wingman. No. Seeing as we're all friends and it did not uh, threaten to kill each other or anything. Huh. Longbow. I can... Oh, yes! Okay. Now... Uh, usually, when Rachel uh, points you to the longbow as a default choice, there's going to be a lot of cap ships around. Well, I say a lot, but yeah, several at least. But I do mean what I say when, uh, when I say about the Excalibur's guns being simply strong enough to deal with everything, at least on uh, this difficulty. But I am going to save the game just in case and reload if it all goes to pot. And besides, I think Maniac and his flank style should perform very well in the Excalibur. Breaking attack. Watch and learn, Colonel. Yeah, that's our first cap ship. A destroyer. I think. Or a killer. Boom. Yeah, a destroyer. Shields take for bloody ever to recharge. <clears throat> I did not expect this. <clears throat> but that is a thing, that is a thing. <laughs> it's party time. Break and attack. Watch and learn, Colonel. Let's see, those appear to be Corvettes. Now you really need to be careful um, where you're putting your guns here. Uh, because if you hit a friendly, friendly fighter craft, you are quite likely to die outright. Shelter slide might be interesting. Three cheers for the Excalibur. 
And for AI that can't follow a gliding target like that, can lead well. And that is a carrier. Heavy carrier. That might be a bit tough to destroy without torpedoes on higher difficulties. Okay, Maniacs got those. fly into the carrier now for some fun. See all those ships lined up there? Uh, okay. Uh, that's a bit of a complication. The Excalibur will get me aim at them, but I can destroy those fighters lined up. See? Mm -hmm. And uh, now, this little carrier can't launch another wave. I can just sit here and shoot indiscriminately. Oh, 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 uh oh. Uh, shit. On a stick. Okay. Well, make that a lesson. Don't try to turn around inside an enemy carrier. That was stupid. Okay, uh, I'll just try to get through this as quickly as possible. Wreck some face. Breaking attack. Watch and learn, Colonel. <clears throat> Almost maniac there. That would be good. Okay, he doesn't get the letters. I'll just steal them. Then. Yeah, those yellow things. Don't get hit by those. In New Commander 2, uh, they were described as antimatter targets. I don't know if they are antimatter targets in this uh, Wing Commander. But yeah, they just ate up my whole front armor in one blast, basically. Yeah, this is gonna be great. Attack. Watch and learn, Colonel. <clears throat> you watch and learn, boyo. I have failed my 
There. Yeah, one for that. Trailing sparks. Why would break an attack? Watch and learn, Colonel. Okay, this time no horsing around, no playing with the food. We just wreck that carrier and GTFO. Carrier, don't mind me. Okay, you don't have to be any harder than that. Uh, I didn't shoot you, did I? Well, he isn't shooting at me, so that's good. And I got a little touched by an Atomat Cannon. Oh well. There's the brakes. Need clearance, TCF victory. Looks like the Karath even busy in their shipyards. But I guess it takes more than some new tin cans to phase you, Colonel. I cleared the land. Yeah, I think one of those uh, carriers we took down was a completely new design at this point in the war. <clears throat> but yeah, so far so good. Alright, I'll have to have something to say about this though. <coughs> Sir. Thanks, Chief. Are you fucking serious right now? She should totally have her just chewed me the hell out, but I guess not. Yay! Conversation on the flight deck. Finally, I get to show what I can do. I don't know, Chief. I've been pretty impressed from the get-go. <laughs> yeah, well, you haven't seen everything. Not by a long shot. You know, maybe we should get together and I'll show you the rest. You know, sooner or later, you and I have to let go of these ghosts. See if the parts fit anywhere else. And you think our parts might mesh? <coughs> you never know until you take the um... In new endos. <coughs> oh, sorry, Matt. <coughs> wow. Well. Yeah. Rachel is no nonsense, direct, to the point, and oh my god, I'm saving the game. <laughs> In a different slot, yes. We are gonna have a surprisingly difficult choice up ahead. I will say that much. It's actually not a life or death choice though. I think you can sort of see where things are going actually. 
But still, just being foreboding for the sake of being foreboding. Going somewhere? No. <laughs> Cleaning this out helps me clear my head sometimes. I do a little of that myself. Letting go of, I don't know, certain memories. Hmm. That's good to hear. I, I haven't wanted to pursue it while you were still hoping to find Angel. And I'm probably way out of line here. Um, but... But... It seems like maybe there's something between you and me. Perhaps it's that way with all the female crew members on board. <laughs> Believe it or not, Flint, I'm not in the habit of flirting with every woman on board. Well, sir, I'm not in the habit of flirting with every man on board. But you do make exceptions? I have. Yeah. Mm. Ah, <laughs> uh, Flint amuses me. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, well, this is not Persona, where you can just uh, flirt with every damn thing under the sun and then just uh, forget about it. There will be consequences. Soon. Oh. But now to something completely different. Colonel, something on your mind? Captain, the brig is no place for a pilot of vagabond skills. Oh, I agree. But the brig is a place for someone as undisciplined as he. Try the hard sell. Yeah, so uh, here is where you dis where yeah uh, this is where you uh, basically can decide whether you will have vagabond as a wingman going ahead or not i'm not sure if you would get him back before the final mission uh if you uh well fail to get him back here but hey i like vagabond i want him to fly with me so i will try the hard sell Try that. Sir, this war is eaten in all of our souls. Vagabonds especially. He deserves another chance. You'll take personal responsibility for him. He flies under me. That goes without saying. Very well. And there we go. Vagabond is back in the pilot seat. Hmm. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, any feminist um, or socially aware person will <laughs> probably have noticed, uh, by the way, that uh, Flint Sort of, uh, sort of reflected that little um, flirting comment straight back at Blair's face. <laughs> I thought that was kind of cheeky back in the day. I still think it's kind of cheeky, but um, now it feels more like something I would do myself. But let's fly. No rest for the weary, Colonel. Let's get to it. As you wish, Captain. We've run into another glitch with this jump point to Kira. It's shielded. The shield generator is based on Freya 2. Here's where we see how good these Excaliburs are in taking the fight to the ground. Colonel, I want you to lead the ground assault. Destroy that generator. Good luck, Colonel. Um, so, this mission is going to... 
essentially show the weakness of um, the limited design uh, uh, well, f window of, um, ah, well, I mean, uh, the weakness of the technology, basically, um, and what they could do with it at the time. Uh, the shield generator, I don't think they gave it a unique model. So actually finding it is literally I finding an alien haystack or would be if they could put more than uh, 10 buildings into the mission at once before things just did not work out oh man gaming in the 90s it's a thing we've seen the Excalibur though and let's just get out there uh, do I have any wingmen? I don't seem to have any wingmen. Oh shit! I wonder if uh, the special bullshit of flying in the atmosphere has anything to do with it. Or they just uh, had to remove wingmen from you, or it would just. Well, one of the things would just not work out. That's a possibility. And nail the whole wing in one go. The Excalibur is OP. OP as fuck. Not even exaggerating one single syllable. Yeah, that maneuver by the air capture there. Sometimes uh, they, will, they will just uh, pull into a climb and uh, at the peak just hit stop. Like uh, the Pugachev's Cobra, by the way, if you are into uh, Russian uh, flight maneuvers. Um, yeah, the, it's the same principle. It just catches you unaware and you just shoot right past them. That may or may not be slightly disastrous. Okay, here are all the buildings that we have to fix. Oh, and here are all the others. That tried to kill us right back. I think I'll throw them down a little actually. Oh, whoa, oh, hey, hey. None of that now. Okay, okay. Where is it? Let's just shoot stuff at random. Now we don't need to shoot the tanks. It's probably a good idea to do so, but we have to. Tells me the uh, thing is not going to be good. Oh well. There we go. One more. Do the head down. Oh. on the ground, is it? Oh, it's there. Now, 
it is no more. Let's move on. some tanks first. I don't like tanks. Especially the one that they're stuck with. Okay, put some distance into the base, or maybe do a shelter slide. And... Tap, 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 tap. Mission objective accomplished. Move! Done. And we're back in space. I was at 503 speed out of 500. That's peculiar. Okay, are you gonna challenge me, anyone? Apparently not. <sighs> okay, let's just get through this quickly. I have him, Rex. Rex, your face. Uh, the casual observer may have noticed how the Karathi don't launch missiles at me. That is a thing uh, to do with the difficulty setting. On higher difficulties, they will launch missiles at you more frequently. At Rookie, they hardly ever do so. If they do, though, you do have uh, decoys. I think Q is the button to do so. No? Alright, whatever. Need clearance, TCS Victory. That was a real test for those Excaliburs. You kick some heavy duty ass, sir. You're cleared to land, Colonel. <laughs> you do not pluralize with an apostrophe S origin. That is just a straight S. No apostrophe. And we land. And Rachel's gonna be so happy to see us. Save the game. Absolutely. Why is that such a concern? Oh, okay, so Vagabond is back at his usual position. Sweet. Bruno, pull up a chair. For a guy who's been staring at four gray walls for a while, pretty chipper. Well, that's it, isn't it? I'm not playing solitaire anymore. Got you to thank for that. But well, we all lose it once in a while. Yeah. Well, if I had to do it again, I'd still pop the son of a bitch. <laughs> well, I will admit that I did not see that one coming. And I'm kind of surprised we haven't seen any more aces lately. Oh well, I guess they're coming soon. This is, after all, the last disc of the game. We are moving to, towards the ending at quite a clip. Well, 
Well, that was quick. Um, -a -a clack and boom. Oh, let's go over the mission, shall we? Yes, sir. Colonel, now that we've secured the jump point, we have to clamp down on the Karathi coming through. They can't get word back to their command that we own the jump point now. Give it your best, Colonel. Dismiss. So, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Hmm. Yeah, this would have been the kind of mission I would have Cobra on my wing for. But now, because I sprung Vagabond from prison, you're up, good buddy. Vagabond, I want you as my wingman. Dismissed. And try not to punch anyone on the nose this time. Just this one mission, please. Yeah. Okay, that was silly of me. Thunderbolt. Or the Excalibur. I will take the Excalibur any day. It has more missiles, stronger frontal guns, believe it or not. And it looks cooler. And the name is cooler. <laughs> At least, that's what I think. And what the hell is a super fighter? <laughs> Those are supposed to be cool. Oh, let's go. this uh we need to be on the ball uh because he can actually get killed no. uh, that is perma kill um we haven't seen a lot of it but uh when when this craft get um, destroyed they normally eject past a certain point in the game which is commonly referred to as the death flag they will fail to eject If we just do a cross slash, <laughs> that would be so cheesy if, if, if that were the case. Hey, what? I missed? What the hell? Stop missing me. Oh, waste of time. I think we are gonna see a, like a carrier or even a cruiser at some point in this little conflict. Ideally, we should be a little farther from the jump point at that time. Okay, we're busy messing up with little fighters like this. Then we. Oh, okay. I guess we're fine. Back to the victory. Need clearance, TCF victory. We got reinforcements coming in, Colonel, so at last we can unload this jump point on them. We're moving out. You're cleared to land. Oh boy. What's your status? Not a scratch on me. So, are we going to kill Ron now, or later? Actually, it's um, you know, gonna be a little complicated. But, you know, if this is not the second to last mission series, which we are at the tail end of, 
this is the third to last. This will be the third to last mission series. So we are very close to the end of the game here. I mean, it's so close I can kind of taste it. And you know, I finished uh, Pillars of Eternity just yesterday, for the first time. Actually, yeah. So so I'm a bit late on on that train. <laughs> uh, but oh man, there's just one difficult choice <laughs> left i think it will be oh yeah it's right here oh boy yeah well <laughs> okay let's just marvel at this for a bit um vagabond is at the bottom of the uh, kill board i have shot down more than twice the number he has to his name. Over 1,300 fighters have been destroyed by this ship alone. And we're, what, eight pilots or something? <laughs> I mean, just put that in perspective, dude. Um. Okay. So, we have a choice to make here. You've noticed how we've kind of been uh, flirting with Flint and Rachel? Well, or there's been a sort of sexual tension thing going on. This is where the social link either hits 10 or goes instant reverse. No saving throw. We get one, or we get the other. Now, it is also possible to uh, pick neither. Uh, but yeah, uh, basically what this is, is we are going to initiate a relationship, or not, uh, if um, well, with either Flint or Rachel. If you pick neither, at the end of the game, uh, during an inter uh, well, during the ending video, there will be a clip where Blair um, flies to a planet in, in a shuttle, alone, just looking out the window. If we initiate a relationship with either of the women, we will have that uh, specific woman with us at the end. Uh, with one exception though, if we go for Flint and she dies, at any point in the game, after this, well, between this point and the end, Blair will also be alone. If we pick Rachel, though, uh, she is guaranteed to survive. Uh, um, the consequences in the game, though, is that if we pick Flint, um, Rachel will not be there at the loadout screen anymore. If we pick Rachel, I don't think we will be able to use Flint as a wingman anymore. Um, that said, I am not quite sure if that is the case anymore. It's been, uh, well, over a decade actually since I last played the game. Um, also, if you click on one of the women, I honestly don't know if you get to click the second one after that. But I am going to try to show you the uh, turning down video for Rachel and then the uh, Hey Flint, you're with me video. Straight afterwards. And of course someone just called. Um, I'll just make it. Cut here and be right. Okay, so now let's just do this. Hey, lady. Man decision making in action. I'm impressed. Now it's always moment by moment in the cockpit. Are we going to expand upon that moment? Are we going to kick in the afterburners here? Oh, boy. Well, 
I always feel like such a dick at this point in the game, no matter what I do. Whether I just tell the, tell the women to just not interested, or I, or if I tell right, or, or if I go ahead and kiss Rachel here, or if I, oh, well, and, and then ignore Flint altogether, or just ignore Rachel altogether and go to Flint, and yeah. And if I, you know, turn someone down, and then uh, immediately just turn straight around to the second woman and say, Hey, baby. That's just... <sighs> you know, if this was supposed to be, like, a beautiful moment of any kind, origin... And uh, I suppose Chris Roberts, seeing as he's the director, totally butchered this point in the game. But that's just my opinion. As I said, uh, the canon is that Blair ends up with Rachel and uh, they go to uh, Nephil, I think. Um, and Blair starts a farm. Ah, whatever. Uh, and note that while uh, Rachel uh, turns around with her animation and stuff when we have the monsters over her, we can't speak to her anymore. Well, that sucks. Hey, Flake. Hey, Rachel. I'm surprised you even noticed me. Whatever you may think, Rachel and I are not an item. Mm. So where's that leave us? Okay. Ha <sighs> ha Ouch. This... Seriously, wounds my inner child. Oh, let's just get through this. Yeah, there you go. Rachel's pissed. Oh, I must be out of my mind. I grew up with nothing but violets. Deep down, you're all creeps. <laughs> Don't forget, you're a pilot too. Oh, well, then I guess we deserve each other. Oh man. Oh that <sighs> Oh man. No. Let's not get into a love triangle anytime soon, okay? Yeah, as for Rachel, um, she hasn't said all she has to say to us. Um, she'll have a few choice words for us after the briefing that's coming right up. Brace for it, boys and girls. We are dead. Let's get started, Colonel. Yes, sir. Your old friend Paladin's been keeping busy. He sent us a little gift. Prototype of Timla Bomb. We're jumping into the Hyperion system where Intel's located an uninhabited and tectonically unstable world. A perfect test site for the weapon. An Excalibur's been modified for this special payload and... Colonel, you've been selected to deliver it. By dropping to the surface of the planet and hitting the bullseye. Timing, your aim. Have to be perfect. Ready to go, sir. 
I like that enthusiasm. Dismissed. Okay. Well, uh, thank you for jumping again. Didn't expect to see to see this so soon. Hyperion. Okay, I think this is the second to last system to go to the game. Uh, yeah. Um, hi, Rachel. Don't strangle me, please. Uh, okay, before we get through that little um, trial by fire, as it were, um, just one note. Uh, uh, they said in the briefing that, uh, you know, aiming and stuff has to be perfect. Uh, the, the mission, uh, well, it, it plays out differently, shall we say. They have made the uh, Templar Bomb uh, a homing weapon. Um, I don't know if that's uh, by intent, uh, but obviously if you have a homing weapon it's, uh, you know, not, not so... well, that is with a target locking and all that, then it's obviously not as important to be entirely accurate in your aim. So yeah, let's just don't worry about being accurate. <laughs> I'll show you. Can't say that I'm real thrilled with the flight plan that you followed back in the rec room. Oh, well, maybe it's because we're both pilots, you know? We understand each other. Well, since there are things beyond my comprehension, I think you'd better handle your own load out from now on. After all, I'm just a mechanic. Can't possibly understand the needs of a pilot. Well, wait a second, Rachel. Yeah, smooth moves there, Mr. Man. Now, oh, see, you can't pick any other fighter than the Excalibur, which, on the whole, is quite fine by me. Okay, let's. Do this, sheeple. Do I have a wingman? I do not have a wingman. Um, okay. I'll make do. Hi, little buggers. Excalibur on rookie mode? Who the hell needs cheats? And, uh, yeah, I'm sure I will turn out to need cheats. <laughs> that would just be uh, perfect, you know? Oh, well. This planet will soon be no more. Things. Hey, 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 hey. Hold, hold, hold on. Wait. Yeah. Controls do work a little differently here on the here in the atmosphere. Okay, so is this the drop point? Not quite. Not yet. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I did that in the wrong order. Okay. <sighs> well, still worked out fine. Oh, 
don't want it away so much. Okay, I find that the best way to do this is to just stop your ship, target the thing, and uh, I think the target locking here takes roughly twice that of locking a normal torpedo. So, you know, just hang around, don't do shit. And when you get a lock... Uh, press enter and go. Mission objectives accomplished. So yeah, that's the second planet we've destroyed now. And now we are suddenly flying around in an asteroid belt that wasn't made before. And we need something more guns with that. And we can destroy asteroids in this game by the way. You can always do that in every game. But this is one of the exceptions. Where you can do so. survive another 10 seconds. Almost didn't work the way I thought it would, but it eventually did. Origin. Jeez, come on. Or whatever the poem uh, wrote this, I don't know. Good grief. Well, let's see if there's anything interesting happening now. Maybe Rachel won't go greet us anymore. Mission. Way to go, Sir Outstand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Everybody greeted us, including Rachel. Whatever. That's how we do things, apparently. Well, with that out of the way, I think it is time to um, end this video and call the next one after the new system that we're in. Hyperion. And well, depending on how much time I spend on the last mission, that might actually be the second last video in this Let's Play. Fancy that.